Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games and welcome back to part 4 of my Scotland campaign here in Crusader Kings 3. We're going to go for something fun. I am going to be doing Lan and her alternative medicine, which is going to cost me piety in addition to money, but she's still cheaper. And I just don't really need that much piety. Uh, now, if I wanted to... Okay. So the, okay, I could demand her conversion, but I don't want to do that. I, I just want to look into. Let's see, do I want to seduce her or romance her? I guess I technically would have to seduce her because the goal is I need to become a lover. So a lover is a special relationship. Um, if a man and woman are lovers, the woman may become pregnant with the man's child. If they are not married and one is not the concubine of the other, the child will be a bastard, secret or otherwise. Lovers who are deeply loyal and affectionate might become soulmates. Uh, a soulmate is a special... which I love that this is a part of the game now, by the way. A soulmate is a special relation indicating a deep, profound, romantic love. It is a stronger relation than a lover. A lover can only have... A character can only have one soulmate. Um, so... Okay, time for treatment. The time has come to treat your cold. Why I am failure certain a simple tincture would suffice. The choice is yours, my lord. So we're going to say, uh, do what is necessary. It's too late for caution. Um, I'm willing to try new things. The results of strange rituals may be r miraculous, but it might also drive you mad. Okay, what am I ill with again? I think it's the possession. That's the problem. I think we have to try new things. Let's go all in, baby. Conflicting feelings uh uh oh okay confined in my bed my servants told me that the smoke from the pyre could be seen for miles the lives of over two dozen fine animals had been ended in the night in a grand sacrifice as per land's orders i have been rubbing my skin with the ashes for a fortnight i am still not sure how i feel about what happened yet i cannot deny that most of my symptoms have gone away so okay we've got a massive boost all right well you know we didn't better to be rubbing ashes on our foreskin than uh getting our entire dick chopped off so we're gonna count this as a win loyalty or oh but before i forget um wait um let's go back to my court here before i forget we need to try to make her my lover there she is okay so we're going to seduce her. 65% chance of success. 14 month prediction chance. Okay. So, because I think I have to become her lover before I can convert to her religion. So, as their king, my vassals owe me, excuse me. As their king, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? I could do unwavering loyalty. That'll give me a bit of stress, which is going to put me right on that edge. We could say fear is more effective. That I will wound the duke. You know, maybe if I didn't like him, I'd do that. Um, I have more important women to impress. Queen Marie's opinion of me will rise. Okay, so being a generous liege for ten years uh, will lower taxes, but opinion goes up. I need the money right now, so we're just going to have Queen Marie. Or no, who the heck was Queen Marie? All right, but oh, good news, everyone. New perk. We can finally get the term, uh, the trait Patriarch, which is going to increase my fertility by 20%. Stress loss plus 20%. Close family opinion plus 15%. House opinion plus 10%. A man who is truly dedicated to his family and the prosperity of his house. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So I'm happy with that. Of course, you know, we can still keep going after other things, but I'm just really happy that we were able to get that done. Okay. Now, uh, we loot. We just did a looting down here. Um, surely the Castilians will be able to figure this out on their own, right? Tell you what, we're going to do a little drive-by action here. We're going to defeat this army of theirs, and then um, I don't think we're going to besiege any other places i don't think any place has the loot that's really worth it maybe salamanca but i think it's actually more important that i start heading back home on the other hand i've got nine whole months left before the claim the fresh claim will be pressed okay yeah let's just defeat this army here okay that's 95 surely they could do this on their own now uh we're gonna head back i think we've done more than our share of uh, what was necessary. 
Oh wait, 14. Okay, actually, you know, we're gonna we're gonna take Asturias just to get the loot, actually. Um, because we gotta hit that magic number of 250 so I can take a big chunk out of Ireland. Now I know that that's gonna take me over my domain limit, but it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna like give. I think I'll probably give Ulster to my son, or maybe Brefian. Troubadours, or you know what? Yeah, I'll probably actually give Brefian and Connacht to my son so that he can spend the money on um, creating the duchy title, which means I won't get the prestige, but he's going to be the one who I play later. It all is going to work out. So, a troubadour's dedication. A troubadour will soon be performing for the court of St. Johnston. It would be a simple request to have her change the performance to be a dedication to land, the target of my uh, affection. So the troubadour's woman. Okay. We can do a bold declaration. Uh, veiled illusions. Uh, okay, so the bold declaration, it could potentially lead to bad impressions. That's the downside to it. Um, so I think we'll just do the budding interest chance. Lower chance of it happening, but there's no downside. So we're just going to do the veiled illusions. 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 I can declare war on, uh, William. Oh, for fame. No, 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 no. Perhaps it was a little too subtle. She did not notice. That's fine. We've got time. Yo, I just realized this will probably win the war for them once I besiege this area. Oh, wait, it's not working. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. Much better. Uh, 1% a day. It's gonna take about five months. What's the call to war? Join me with the peasant uprising. Sure, buddy. This guy, how does he not have a hundred opinion of me? Rejected a call to a defensive war. Win! What? I, I must have misclicked something somewhere. I, I haven't rejected any of his calls. I've been accepting all of them, haven't I? Hmm. It must have been a misclick somewhere. Great! As I woke up this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. Boy, that's a good feeling. You guys, you know, when it's been weeks and then you just actually get a decent amount of hours in. It's, it's a great feeling. Uh, okay. So, right, the fabricating claim task is done. Oh, I forgot that I have to spend money to get the claim, though, so I can't spend it now on the, uh, creating the title. Whoops. <laughs> Mistake. Um, okay. Then here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Do I want to maybe press into Wales a little bit? No, no, no. I should focus on one thing at a time. Uh, convert a county. Learning skill. Mm. No, let's just keep fabricating claims. So, Dublin, yeah. Or should I get Thomond? Yeah, I probably should be breaking up Munster. So we'll do that, because, yeah, they're, they're quite weak compared to me, but let's not let them get much bigger and break them up if we can. Let's take a little chunk out. Um, but yeah, I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? But you know what? I'll just declare even more wars all at once. So we've won the war, won another war. Great. Uh-oh, secret's been exposed. My spy master has copulated with some courtier of mine. She's bisexual. Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage. So I can go after him. Which is probably not a good idea because he's my spy master. Uh, and I imprison her. Mm, no. Let's just have. Let's just get the opinion boost. But I'm going to lose a level of devotion. So devotion is how virtuous and devout I am. Um. So right now, I am dutiful. If I lose this, I'm going to go down to... Well, I can't go any lower. I'm as low as it can go. So there's no problem, actually. There's no downside. Sinful acts come at a cost, but not really. <laughs> when you're already at the bottom, you can't go any lower. Uh, okay. So let's bring everybody back home. Bring it on home. Bring it on home. What is this? A reading in St. Johnson. Johnston. 
The celebrations had come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Lan suggested a reading. The clerk soon arrived, wondering what the guests would like to hear. I see my chance to impress Lan. Uh, okay, we could do something pious, um, which will lead to smoldering chemistry. That's good. Let's be entertained. Okay, so I just basically have to guess what she wants to listen to the most. Um, okay, so she's got high learning, and everything else is kind of low. So we're going to say the perfect state. Yeah, that should be what she likes most. Um, as the clerk reads, first land seems completely engrossed. She later approaches me. Good choice, Malcolm, she says, and tosses a coin. It was great, wasn't it? Okay, cool. So we're up to 85%. Very nice. Very good. Very bon shui. Uh, what's this about cultures? Right. Scheme at court. Someone's plotting to kill my friend Tostig. Well, that's not good. We need him. Uh, I'm doing the yeah. I'm doing the chronicle writing. Yeah, I already went over this right. The innovation stuff. Yeah, I, I think I did. So we're, we're doing chronicle writing right now. Um, and yeah, I think Castile's gonna be able to handle that on their own. We're actually just about to win, I think. And you all can be disbanded. And so we're just going to wait to uh, add up the money I need. My abhorrent paramour. As I draw close to land, I do not know whether to tear the clothes from her body or punch the greedy smile of her face. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what? <laughs> she kisses me, a challenge, and I drag her co closer, a fitting riposte. The warring feelings in my chest are echoed by our bodies. We spend the night delivering both insult and bliss unto each other. That's, uh, that is a little bit weird. Uh, I typically do not kink shame. Um, but, uh, when people, I guess if they're, I don't know. Getting hurt, physical, you know, like, possible damage is, uh, is, is kind of the line. Um, so I could say, kiss me again, my aromatic doxy. So that's basically he's saying my reclusive, like, whore. Like, it's, it's a slang term. Um, or I could say, leave me be harlot. Either way, she'll gain opinion of me. Oh, so it happened either way. Oh, okay, this is where she becomes my full-time lover. This is where she, um, we just slept with each other and that was it. It was just a one and done. Is that gray in her hair? It's kind of here, but not there. Anyway, so she's my lover. That's what we're trying to do. And uh, so now, if I go to my relationships, my lovers are here, and I should be able to convert if I wanted to, I think. Demand conversion. No. Am I... Okay. Am I missing something here? I don't think the CK3 wiki is going to be very up to speed yet, but um, hopefully I can find, okay, like, conversion. I'm checking it. No. All right. There's got to be something. Let's check the encyclopedia. Uh, game concepts control. Okay, let's try maybe religion and go from there. Okay, faiths. Um, all characters believe in a faith. For example, Catholicism is a faith which belongs to Christianity. Every faith is different. They have doctrines, tenets, fervors, converting counties. It's possible from the faith view, it's possible to create a new faith of your own. Where's the faith view again? Doctrines and tenets. It's not something to worry about for your first character, but it could be a very fun first goal to work towards when you're feeling more confident. Um, family members and vassals who have a high opinion of you are likely to join your new faith, and high learning skill can convince many more, but anyone of your old faith who does not convert will consider you a heretic. Um, I don't... I don't know. Oh, yeah, speaking of the walls, by the way, here's a cool thing. I don't know if I had mentioned this. You can see Hadrian's Wall here. On, uh, on the peninsula, so it's right there. Um, so do you see it following my cursor? Uh, 
So actually, can I look up? I think if I go in here. Yeah, here we go. Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's Wall was built during Roman times to keep the northern Picts out of the province of Britannia. Nowadays, it serves no defensive purpose, but the stones make for a cheap and convenient source of building material. So, uh, ten percent minus building construction, uh, building construction gold costs. Which uh, I want to build some things, but uh, I also want to be a duke. So we're still waiting on that. All right, twenty months left. So we're getting about nine gold. Let's just round that up to ten. So we need about 70 more yeah we'll, we'll be able to do it so i think what we're going to do now is just switch over to five speed um because i don't think there's anything in particular i want to do right now uh before i build the the ulster let's see powerful vassals want position this guy's a little mad with me um you know what he just has to deal with it for a little bit he owns Fife over here. I'm much stronger than him. It's fine. I could ask my head of faith for gold. Oh, he'll do it, too. Well, then I could just go right now. It's Baggio. He's Italian. Um, let's see. He'll lose 20 opinion to me. That'll put it in the negatives. Uh, 250 piety will be spent. Level of devotion. Oh, I'm a full-blown sinner. Oh, the only negative level of devotion. Catholic clergy opinion minus uh, 10%. But this Pope, he's a good guy, you know. Hate the sin, love the sinner. Give me some gold, please. Could also ransom some prisoners, maybe. Um, Yeah, let's do that. Let's ransom her. Yeah. Okay. Low county control. Yeah, that's fine. We can, we can consolidate later. Right now, I just need to expand a lot. May these funds help you spread the true faith in your lands. Thank you very much. So, we can now make the title. Accept your ransom offer. Hope to see the Countess return to me in good health. Um, you know, I just realized I probably didn't actually have to do that just yet. Um, we could do Thulmon later. I don't think it's going to take me 20 months to defeat these three areas. So, let's create the Duchy of Ulster. Um, yeah that good and I don't think people are gonna have a problem with that because I only have whoops I've only got now two duchy titles yeah petty kingdom of Albany petty kingdom of Ulster so we're good there now let's start declaring these wars okay seize the earldom of Oriel declare war okay Okay. All right. So this is going to be a big one, guys. But it shouldn't be any problem at all. These are very weak, petty kings. Um, yeah. Now, you know what I could do, since I do have a little bit extra money? Um, I could create a men-at-arms regiment, which might not be the worst idea in the world. Um, we're we're going to hold off on that, actually. We'll do, or we'll do that after this war. We'll take a look at our... Mm, but I also want to make the duchy titles. On the... Hmm, dang it. On the other hand... Yeah, I was going to plan to give it to my son. Uh, let's just go and occupy these things. This should be really quick stuff. Oh, the queen has inspired recruitment. Levy size plus 25%. Yeah, look at that. I've got 2,500 men plus. So we're probably not even going to fight any of these armies. We're just going to go in, occupy each county... Get the automatic 100%. Too easy. Okay. Yeah, this this won't be any trouble at all. I think. <laughs> no, really, even if they all combined their forces together, they've got nothing on me. In fact, um, what we're going to do... Let's, let's save ourselves some time here. Is, uh... Let's... Whoop, no, 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 no. I'm going to have half of you go that way. All right, excuse me. Am I missing something here? Control click to select only this. Okay, there's your problem. There we go. Yeah, so we're just going to split these up and uh, besiege them that way. What's this? An attempt on my life! 
A noise like that of an assassin stumbling on a chamber pot pulled me out of my late night slumber, spotting my would-be assailant, and I shouted for my guards in a composed and manly fashion. Guards! Come kill this man before I do with my just... Before I kill him with my big toe, I'm so manly. Um, as they arrived, a brief struggle ensued, resulting in the intruder's death. This was undoubtedly the work of that loathsome coxcomb, Duke Mael Senchiatile. This is the guy in the north, right? Moray? Yep, that's what I thought. Um... I'm going to make him regret this. I'm now watchful, so that's good defensively. Um, I think I can now... I now have the right to imprison him. If I wanted to. Um, okay. But he, he's he got a decently strong army on his own. So we might have to hire the men at arms for that. So, alright, let, let's read this event first. Uh, it seems that in my dealings with Earl Malmur, I may have accidentally made certain promises of exemptions from his obligations. I have tried, but I suspect there might not be any other way out of this by now. Um, okay, I can lower his feudal taxes. No, I can salvage this. We're going to give him the we cook. Okay, check this out, though. Check this out. So, I'm going to hire uh, a man-at-arms regiment. Let's go with pikemen, I'm thinking. Or armored footmen might be... Well, what's good for the terrain, I suppose? There's a lot of hills up here. So we want... Uh, let's check the encyclopedia. Okay, men at arms. Alright, we're looking for... Hill stuff. Who gets who gets some good hill... Things? Okay, we'll try it this way. Okay, pikemen plus eight. Toughness... How much damage they could take a ta ca uh, battle before they could take a casualty? Yeah, this is what I was figuring, because of the um, you know Scotland and its pikes. It's it's well known. But if we went armored footmen, they counter spearmen. But no, the the pikemen are the way to go. Um, yeah, the mangonels and stuff could be fun, but no, we're gonna do the pikemen. So, toughness 24, damage 28, counters light cavalry, um, allow regiments to form walls of spikes, we'll start with 5 soldiers and reinforce to 100. Alright, let's do it. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna just let that do its thing. My Praise Saint Bridget, Livia has given birth to a perfect little son. Um, now, we're going for D names, so we need another D. Uh, how about Dominic? I'm doing it with the C instead of the Q-U-E. All right. Okay, so somebody's besieging me here. Oh, shoot. Was that the... Did they just instantly die? I didn't even realize I was getting besieged. Oh, no. Kind of screwed up there, didn't I? I think... Yep, I think... I think I think my men-at-arms might have been DOA. Wait, no, where, where are they? I can also increase their size later. I might do that. Um, full strength in seven months. Oh, they haven't been raised, actually, so it's not a problem. Okay, good, good. That would have been a bit of a mistake. How good our allies have won down there. That's good. I'm not calling them into these wars, incidentally, because I definitely don't need them. I want to save it for if I get attacked by England or Norway or, or, or some such thing like that. Bohemia? What's a Bohemian army doing up here? Defending against you and the Scottish claim on the earldom of Connacht. They were allied to Bohemia, which has a freaking huge army. Oh, well, um, this is awkward. Uh, <laughs> okay. This is, uh, not something I thought was gonna happen, but it's fine. We definitely outnumber them, because their army is split up right now, so they've made a mistake. Oh, we can also get a new perk for our diplomacy, uh, uh lifestyle. That was my mistake. That was, I should not have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. So, we could do diplomat. What have we got here? Could propose one alliance without a marriage. Ooh, I like that. I really like that. Uh, we can use a ducal conquest, Kazai Bell. Kazai Bell will allow the seizures of counties required to create an uncreated title of duchy rank. Oh, that's really good, too, for, for defeat, get, getting Ireland. Hmm. Forced vassalization, Kazai Bell. Allows for forceful vassalization of a neighboring independent ruler of lower rank, unlocked by the forced vassalization perk. This, whoop, whoops. 
You can vassalize any ruler that does not have more than three counties in their realm. Ah, that's the rub. Limit is increased by plus two for each of the following innovations. Cost of spelly, chronicle writing, divine right, and rightful ownership. Well, we're working on chronicle writing right now, but I don't think we're going to live to see it. Um... Shorter truces, no prestige. Well, well, in any case, this is looking pretty good. Scheme power and prestige. Like, the August stuff's good for prestige, but I'm not too concerned with that. Okay. Now then. Um, Prince Duncan has come of age! He kind of looks the same, which is fine, you know? Uh, we're going to all have to get used to... Uh, you know, from Crusader Kings 2 where it used to be your kid hit hit 16 and then he suddenly was big and buff and he had a beard down to his chest. <laughs> so, uh, with sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards diplomatic influence such as Duncan can come to truly understand it. A true silver tongue, he could sway the opinion of counts and kings alike. When he speaks, the court listens in enraptured silence. Oh, nice. He's become a gray eminence. Very cool, very feng shui. 40% uh, additional diplomacy lifestyle experience. That's fantastic. He's a treacherous villain, though. I don't know what's up with that. Um, so let's try to... Let's find him somebody to marry, yeah? I'm probably just going to go for the fertility, actually. Yeah, these these alliances are just trash. Okay, so we'll get him a high intrigue wife that's kind of young. Uh, might be harder than I thought, actually. Goodness gracious, are you kidding me here? Okay, we have Poblivion, but no, she's... I don't like that. Catholicism, Sardinian... Mm, not a huge fan of some of these. Let, can we sort by a... Uh, uh, Prowess, some of us... You know, let's wait on that. Let's just wait on it. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, because he needs to be having kids right now. Um... Yeah, if he can have kids before he even becomes king, that would be terrific. Uh, so we can arrange a marriage. Oh, with land. Now, that would be interesting. Oh, but she's too old. She's not going to have... She's probably not going to have kids, and she's my lover, and it's just going to get a little tricky. Um, so let's just... Yeah, we're going for fertile. Um, okay, just the first lustful one I could find. No, that's that's not good. Let's how about stewardship and lustful. Here we go. Mama, she's French, vengeful, stubborn. Very good stewardship. All right, this is our winner. He's going to lose prestige over it. It's fine. I know I probably should be spending, you know, working on it a little more, but I'm already distinguished. It's fine. Okay. Um now we're done here as well oops okay <laughs> I've got Briefne so be it um, accepting the marriage proposal okay cool so how about we do I want to get the minute arms up and running right now well let's okay there all right so they're uniting their forces it's far too big uh, we cannot deal with that. Shoot, this is a problem. A real problem. Now I could, um, maybe hide behind a straight or something. That might help my chances. Oh! Okay, okay. Okay, here's where they're, they're going off somewhere. This is good. This is good. They might be, um the claim on the Duchy of Flanders. Fascinating. We're not doing that. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Tostig has a claim on Defier. Well, we knew that already. But England is just... Okay, England's already looking weaker for some reason. Uh, but we just can't deal with it. Now, what we're wanting here is for Bohemia to go over here to Scotland, which, by the way, check that out. Now it's like kind of crossing over the straits. I love that. Um... We want them to go over there and be besieging some areas uh, in, like, just some pointless endeavor. And in the meantime, we will, uh, we will besiege this capital and take that. Let's see. Oh, I didn't even realize that technically, uh, we lost St. Johnson there for a minute. Okay. This is good. This is good. Uh-oh, no, they might be, they might be 
coming back on the boat. Um, hopefully, it'll be a few months before they arrive, and we can just end this war real quick. Keeping an eye out on the sea. What was that? Did you guys hear that? It was like a... Ah! Alright, the small army's coming back. And uh, don't worry, I haven't forgotten that I need to deal with this guy. He's getting stronger. That's a, that, This is really a problem. Oh, he's allied to the King of the Isles. You traitor! They're still allied to Norway as well. That's to be expected. Um, ooh, we're dealing with a bit of attrition. Just a small bit. Claim on Brynef for months. Uh, this Earl has been digging up spurious stuff. Merkchad of Dublin. Lies and more lies. It's, I don't, yeah, it's fine. I don't really care. Um, we're about to have our own claim on Thomond. Okay. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Are they really going to come off the boat with their 304 people? Oh, it's because they're just delaying. They're buying time. Hold on. But we just took the king hostage. What a loser. What a geek. What a geek. He just he stormed the beaches with his like 300 men against my two over 2,500. Okay, admittedly, buying time for the armies of Prague. And then he gets captured. What a geek. Petty King Aid of Connacht, Geek of the Week. <laughs> you better believe I'm enforcing that. May your years be short and miserable. <laughs> Not as miserable as you are right now, man. Okay, I like this. Good, very good. And now we can create the Duchy of uh, Connacht if we want, which I'm not going to. I'm going to give this to my son. Um, all right, so in the next episode, we're going to have a little bit of a civil war because we're going to be going after more Ray. I could imprison him. Yeah, it's it's definitely not going to happen at all. It won't happen. Uh, but we're going to do something with him, and it's going to cause a fight, and the Isles are going to get the little petty kingdom of the Isles is going to get drawn in as well. Um, but those, you know, those kinds of rebellions and civil wars are often a good thing um, because you can then. You flush out the bad. This is what I always say. It's it's a little a little civil war is good now and then, um, and so then once we've secured that, I will probably keep the Duchy of Moray for myself, so that I'll have uh, I'll have Albany and Moray, and then I'll give Ulster and Connacht to my sons. Uh, Thomond will have had our will have our claim on that by then, and then we could uh, form Ireland. I think. Let me let me check here. Although I might not, I probably won't because I don't want the kingdom titles to split, but, but we'd have enough that we could do it if we wanted. So uh, we would need seven counties. I currently own five. What? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we just need one more. I'll probably take it from, like, uh, Athelin here or something. Uh, yeah, take this. So one, two, that'd be seven. And then brrrp, can roll everybody up. Maybe I can even just offer them vassalization and they'll leave me alone or they'll just take it but I'd have to keep Scotland as my primary title oh yeah and I'm over my domain limit so I definitely have to give away some of this stuff to my kids um, so thanks for joining me I'm conquering history games next episode yeah the Civil War and I will see you then